Sometimes this is just a wake up call to say, hey, get your butt together. Think. You need to be, you know, I don't know, working for yourself. So you're an IT manager, con subcontract for yourself. You know, make an ad on lots of lists or whatever and subcontract, you know, for yourself and make your own money. Why are you sitting here going out looking for a job, looking for a job, looking for a job, when you could be working from your home in your pajamas, you know, doing IT work online, through the lines, over the lines, whatever, you know. <clears throat> we all got to think outside the box, especially now because of the economy. Though, I don't know, my mind just doesn't accept that. You know, God's going to give you what you're supposed to have when you're supposed to have it if you do what you're supposed to do. And by that, I mean you can't go out robbing, stealing, and raping people and say, hey, I deserve my good. Where is it? I don't think so. If you think so, you can think whatever you like. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, we all got to buck up realize whatever's going on in your world probably already happened in my world or is gonna happen because we're all humans we all go through the same thing just at different times different names shades colors you know thickness thinness <laughs> whatever we all go through the same thing different color channel type space you know time we're all the same we all want to be loved respected you know and appreciate it but you're not going to get that if you don't do it for yourself I say that because also yesterday in Pal Talk I must have ran across come across like five people what do you mean I do love myself just answering that alone tells me eh, you're, you're wrong okay first of all my guys are never wrong second of all if you love yourself what are you doing here asking me well does some other girl love him a person that loves herself doesn't ask those silly questions. A person that loves themselves said, I am the end all be all. Shh. Honey, I'll wait for you. Maybe. If I feel like it. Not. Well, do you see him with somebody else? Well, do you see this? Do you see that? You know? Just love yourself and be whoever you are meant to be in your own spirit, in your own body, in your own time. I'll be back. In summation, just love yourself, you know, because if you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else, nobody else can love you, for you, but you, do good for you, do right by you, you know. And if you don't love yourself and you're just, oh, I got to do this to be with him. Oh, I got to do that to be with her. Well, she likes it this way because we all know women, yeah, tend to rule the house and men let them. <laughs> and I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. But what I am saying is without balance, nothing can ever be equal. Go ahead, Annie. Because, you know, if you don't love yourself, if you don't do good by yourself, how is somebody else going to do good for you, with you? And it's, this, it's not always just about, oh, lovey, mushy, mushy, because we know that goes away after probably the first month. And then it changes, it morphs into something else and something else and something else, you know? But if I don't love me and I'm willing just to accept whatever, you know, I think men accept it after a while just to hear women not complain anymore. Or clean out the garage, or do this. No, I don't want any more sex or whatever. And um, I suppose in some ways that that's okay. And in some ways it's not. Because let's face it, ladies, men, boys, girls, we all deserve to have whatever it is that we want that's going to make us happy. So why would you tell him, you know, don't go watch football? Why would you tell her? You know, don't buy that parachute. Well, that's kind of different, but because if something's not your budget, that's kind of different than going to your buddy's house to watch football game, whatever. Um, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. But we're all the same. We're all the same. We want that I am appreciated feeling. If you're 19 or 90, we still want that feeling. And we still want that feeling from generally one person you know <clears throat> a lot a lot of people 
get that from more than one person, polyamory. No, it's not the same as being a, a Mormon. Um, the two aren't necessarily that much alike if you study that. But the whole point in this is, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, we still want to be loved, appreciated, thought of, treated well. But how do you get that if you don't do that for you already? And then you complain about him. Well, he should know. How are he going to know if you don't tell him or her or yourself? You know, you got to be balanced within yourself. Okay, go love yourself. Have a great day. Bye.